Hey guys, it's Sarah from Just My Typewriter, and I'm once again going to be covered in dog hair <laughs> while I talk to you about a really easy and quick maintenance tip that'll really help the typewriters in your collection last a much longer time. You've heard me talk about typewriter feet on this channel before, but I don't know if any of you have actually ever gone out and changed the feet on your typewriter, and it's a really quick and easy way to really help the longevity of your machine and just get it typing back to normal and back up to snuff. Over time, the rubber pieces in your typewriter do get hard and crack, and that's just a product of old age, but you can actually replace some of these parts pretty easily. One of the first things I check on a typewriter is actually the typewriter feet, and I do this for a couple of reasons. One typewriter that I actually purchased a while ago when I started collecting was this Underwood Universal from the late 1930s, early 1940s. I purchased it from a friend for about 25 bucks and I put it in my collection and not only did the case smell really bad, but I also noticed that the feet on the bottom of the typewriter, these little rubber pads, would leave black marks anywhere I went. And that was because they were actually degrading and starting to like crumble onto any surface that I had placed the typewriter. I went online and purchased a set of replacement feet on Etsy for about 40 bucks and then put those on the typewriter itself. Now that was a pretty easy fix and all of a sudden the typewriter didn't leave black marks anymore and it was typing better because it was higher up off the ground because the rubber pads that were there before had actually compressed over time and dropped the typewriter lower to the ground, making it possible for those key bars to actually start to scrape the surface of whatever I was typing on. It just really made the machine not work super well. But by replacing those feet, I was actually able to boost the machine up a little bit with that new rubber that put it higher up off my typing surfaces, and it gave it more clearance to type smoothly. And since then, I've always checked the feet on my typewriters because I know that's something that's already being reproduced as a part, and you can get new ones to put in your machine. It's one of the first things to go on a typewriter just because it is a rubber piece. So I've replaced a few sets of typewriter feet on my machines, including on my Royal H, KMH, Royal Victory. I still don't know what to call this thing officially, and I've changed them on a few other portables as well. Now since then, I've actually sold that Underwood Universal to my friend Victor, who was actually in my Talking About Pens video, which you can check out in the link in the description. He's a writer, and he was really excited to have that typewriter in his collection. But about two weeks after I sold that typewriter, I was walking around a flea market, and I I saw from the back of the row, like a half a mile away, the telltale signs of a typewriter on a flea market table. I ran to this seller to go see what that typewriter was going to cost. There was nobody at the flea market because it was about to rain, and what I saw was this beautiful Underwood Champion from 1937 in this glossy black finish in the typewriter case, and he wanted $50 for it. Now you know me, I'm a cheapskate and I will not spend more than $25 on a typewriter. It was about to rain and he had trouble getting the case open to set it out in the first place, so I was able to talk him down to 25 bucks for this typewriter in this beautiful glossy black finish. Again, this typewriter is from 1937. It comes with the original case and it just looked like a really beautiful, gorgeous example of the classic Underwood style in their portables from the 30s and 40s. I got it home and it typed but it didn't type super well. And as I was using it, I was noticing some gunky things showing up in different parts of the typewriter, whether that was under the platen or when I rolled paper through, just something seemed off about this machine. It took me a while, but I finally got to taking it apart and a few things that I noticed on it could just use some tuning up. First of all, almost all of the rubber parts on this machine had over time corroded and kind of become like gunky and gummy like slime in the typewriter. So any of the rubber padding or rubber o-rings that were on places to help make the closing of clamps a little bit easier or some things quieter had just kind of disintegrated into sludge. So I did remove some of those and that can happen when oil gets into those rubber parts or metal spirits gets mineral spirits gets into those parts and breaks them down into like a putty. So I did clean those out of the machine and that really took away some of those sludgy pieces. But as I set the typewriter back down, it still wasn't typing super well. It had trouble depressing keys. Every once in a while things would get stuck. So then I flipped the typewriter over and did the next logical thing, which was check the typewriter feet. And they were so dried and cracked out and smashed thin like little pancakes under the typewriter, they were barely holding it off the typing surface. So I knew I had to replace them. It had been a while since I had purchased typewriter feet specifically for this model. And the ones that came up online on 
Etsy where I've purchased before were showing that there was a different set for the back feet than there was for the front feet. And on my machine, both sets of feet looked exactly the same. They looked like the same feet I would put on a Royal Portable machine from the 1950s. So I was a little bit confused. I posted pictures of the feet on this typewriter on the Antique Typewriter Collectors Facebook group, and everybody suggested that I go check out this other seller from mytypewriters.com to get my set of typewriter feet. Not only were these feet $20 cheaper, but they were actually more accurate to what I needed for the machine. So I purchased them and they showed up relatively quickly, and then I went to replace them on the machine. Now I had some trouble replacing the feet on this machine. Usually it's a pretty easy process if you can get those screws out. In my case, the screws had a really thin slot on them that none of my screwdrivers fit in. So I did have to experiment a little bit with like a butter knife and some clampy things to try to get those screws out. But once they were loosened, I was able to remove the old feet and put in the new ones. Then I noticed, and they said this in the listing on the My Typewriter site, that the feet that they send you are both for the front feet. So they have four feet in there that are all set up for the front slot of the typewriter. And if you wanna put them on the back of the typewriter in those feet positions, you have to cut off this rubber gasket on the front. And I didn't have a problem with that. I just took an X-Acto knife and cut off the little rubber ring at the top of the foot to put it on the back feet. Then I went to put it in where the old front feet were. And there were no screws in this position. They're just like little rods that stick out of the typewriter. So I jammed them on there and then set the typewriter back up to type on. As I was typing, things were getting stuck. So the ribbon was getting stuck, letters were getting stuck, and I just didn't understand why it wasn't working. So I flipped the typewriter back over again and I noticed that the feet with those rubber gaskets were getting stuck on the ribbon reverse mechanism where there are these little cranks. They were actually getting stuck in there and blocking the ribbon reverse from actually working. So I did the next logical thing and then also X-Acto knifed off the top of those rubber gaskets. As soon as I cut off the rubber gaskets for those feet for the front, I realized there's these little ring pieces underneath the keyboard of the typewriter that the feet probably should have gone in and those gaskets would have fit right in there. But that's not where the original feet were on the typewriter when I took them off. So I just logically put them back where they were in the first place. But once I cut off those rubber gaskets, the typewriter worked perfectly and I had no issues with it. All of a sudden it was typing great, so I replaced the ribbon and it was ready to go. So that repair itself only took me 30 bucks and maybe 25 minutes to do, which isn't bad when it comes to typewriter repair. And I had done something to protect the longevity of the machine. One thing you'll notice about typewriters is there are things on them that go that just make it harder for them to type. And if you replace those things or clean those things off, the typewriter is gonna last a much longer time, especially in that useful and usable state. So it was really easy for me to just go online, purchase this exact set of typewriter feet, put them on my typewriter, and now this machine is good to go. It's gonna last a much longer time. So that's why you should be looking into typewriter feet. I promise it's not a weird thing. It's just something that's really gonna protect and keep the life of your machine going much longer. Because again, rubber pieces dry out over time, even though the metal pieces on the typewriter still might work perfectly. So if your typewriter's not working great and you don't know what it is, maybe flip your machine over and check out those rubber feet on the bottom of your typewriter. If it's missing one, it might jostle a little bit. If they're old and pancakey, it might be too close to the typing surface to really work super well. So check out your typewriter feet and maybe consider replacing them. If you're interested in more typewriter content, I have other videos on this YouTube channel that you can check out where we do easy maintenance and type tests and crafts. And oh boy, I have a lot of typewriters. I also have an Instagram at just.my.typewriter. I want to thank you all so much for watching today and remind you, you're just my type. Writer.